Hey guys, I'm Little Red and thanks for clicking on this video. So this week I thought it would be fun to test out some makeup that I've been seeing online on Instagram and Facebook and like literally everywhere. And it is called Subtle Beauty. As you can tell, I do not have my hair done, nor do I have makeup on. And so I thought that it would be in theme to go ahead and just bring out the Subtle Beauty by using the products that I purchased for it. This is what Subtle Beauty is, if you haven't seen it. It is like a stackable makeup all-in-one kit, essentially. You can buy all the different layers that you want. I really wanted to give this a shot just because I thought that it would be so easy to take this on vacation with me rather than like all of my makeup. And I really was curious to know how good the makeup is, so I thought we could do it together. Without further ado, let's dive right in. I don't even know how like the process of how I'm supposed to start this like I normally do. The other downside to this, it doesn't come with makeup brushes. It came with, I mean, you can purchase some if you want to, but I got this brush for free, but this would be for like the powder. If you don't want to spend any extra money because this whole stack itself was about 80 bucks. I highly recommend probably just using your own. I think I'm gonna start with eyeshadow because that's what I normally start with, although that feels backwards. In the video, she starts with concealer, so never mind. I'm gonna start with concealer. So this is the, the color I got. It's called Charities. On first impression, I don't know if this, this color is gonna match me or not, but we're gonna give it a shot. In one of the videos she showed, she literally did everything with her hands, so I'm kinda tempted just to do everything with my hands. It does have a very nice creamy texture to it. I don't think that's doing all that much for me, but I could be wrong. Do you have to just like lay it on thick? Okay, yeah, you kind of have to lay it on a little thick. In the video, this girl looks so good and that's why it really made me want to get some. So I was thinking, wow, if I can look that natural with just those products, then I'm in, I'm sold. The other bet, which I really don't know, I'll find out later, is if it holds up well, because that's the next question I have. I think that's about enough concealer, although I kind of want to put some on my eyelids. So then it has, a bronzer, which I mean, I'm gonna have to use a brush for this, so let me get that out. So here is the bronzer I got. It comes in a, the shade called, oh, it's cool. By first glance of it, I do think it's gonna be very dark, so we'll see. I probably should have gone in with the blush first because it's it's cream and you're supposed to do all your creams first. Although I'm not kind of mad at this color. It's not nearly as dark as I thought it was gonna be. I kind of like it so far. So let's go in with the lip and cheek color and I got the color perfectly pink. Interesting fact, I don't know if it's actually that interesting, but I never have used cream blushes so I don't really know what to expect with this. I'm probably gonna ruin everything. I don't even know how much to put on. It kind of looks like I just got done working out, but maybe, maybe that is the idea. It's the subtle beauty. It's how you actually look from day to day, right? If you have any tips for how to use cream blush, let me know down in the comments because I have no idea. <laughs> I'm lost in here. How much are you supposed to use? What are you supposed to do? What if you don't know how to do it? It doesn't come with instructions. What would be the next thing I would go in with? Highlighter would be the next, right? The color is champagne. I don't generally use highlighter, so I'm just gonna go, you're supposed to go like on your cheekbones, right? So that's where I'm gonna go. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think this is doing anything. It is an extremely subtle highlight. That one's not my favorite so far. Okay, so I've done concealer. I've done the blush, I've done the bronzer, I've done the highlight, so now it's time to do eyeshadow, which again, she used her fingers, which just feels silly to me because now all your fingers are dirty. So I'm gonna go in with this color and the eyeshadow duo. It comes with two colors, so I guess you can like mix and match, right? And my colors are called Jelly. Let's see what I can do here. Wow, that is 
pigmented. I don't know how she does this with just her fingers. I have never been one just to do my eyeshadow with my fingers. So then let's go in with the other color, like the inside corner to give a little, I don't know, fanciness. I guess, yeah, you can't go in heavier and like give yourself a bolder look, but doesn't that like go against the entire thing? It completely defeats the purpose. The idea is that you're trying to be subtle with your beauty because everyone's beautiful and we should just bring out the inner beauty from inside because it's your inner beauty, right? I wouldn't say it's my most favorite eyeshadow look, but it definitely gives a different vibe to it, right? Like, all right, so now we go on to the shine control portion of this, which it does come with this little sponge makeup pad, I don't know what they're called. But since I got the brush for free, I'm gonna try out their brush and see how that works. Let's give this Shine Control powder a whirl. You know, I really do appreciate how actually like subtle this entire look is. I genuinely like how just easy this is. I do feel the powder. I mean, I would think you'd probably have to use more. I'm definitely having some vibes of like a little stickiness, but that might be like the other creams that I put on my face. So to top it all off, we're gonna go back into the lip and cheek color. I actually don't like this color on my lips whatsoever. Ooh, it's way too pink for me. I, I would not use this color on my lips. I feel like it just kind of washed me out. If there was a darker color, maybe I would have gone for that, but I didn't want a super dark color for my cheeks because I'm so pale. Give and take, right? Like you might have your own lipstick and like, but I'm gonna bring this and this, like in some brushes. That's nothing in comparison to like everything else that I generally bring. You know what would make this look just complete is putting on some mascara. So let me do that and then let me see if that kind of like just changes the entire look. And now I'm back. <laughs> so now I have mascara on and honestly, I think I really do like this look. I mean, other than the lipstick part of it. But overall, I kind of like it. I don't know what it looks like on camera, so I guess I'll find out later. But what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. And if you're curious about this, I'll try to link the product page down below and I'll also let you know which colors I got too. So if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more of me and the random things that I'm testing or trying or giving my thoughts on go ahead and click that subscribe button and I will see you all next time. Bye!